Welcome to episode 40 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I want us to learn something about nested components. In our previous episode, we were able to create this products table and it was uh, listing our products. We could be able to click create and you'd use this model here to create a product. And after we click save changes, it will be added here and the page will be refreshed. Also, we were able to have edit over the page details using the same model and then we could be able to save. So what I want us to do is to have a component here that is going to do the count of our products. Basically, you can be able to do it in this component, but since what I want to teach is about nested components, that is the reason why we want to count, to do the count in a different component. So let us go ahead and create that component. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the command php artisan make live wire. And then the name of our component, I want to name it product count. I will hit enter. It will create the two components for us. So in our product, all products, because this is the component that we are using to load the products, in our all products dot plate is a uh, the one I want to modify. And what I want to do, I want to create a row here. So what I'm going to have is a div with a class of um, row. And then after that, I'm going to close that div. And inside here, I'm going to have two columns. So one of the columns you hold our create button and the other column you hold the count. So in this case, I can have a div a column, class column. We close the div. And I want to just copy this and create another similar div. So here I want to just copy whatever it is that we have the, the data that is in the button. And I want to paste in the first column. And then in this second column is where I want us to have the component that we have created. So for us to include a live wire component, we have live, live uh, wire, and then the name of the component, product hyphen, count like that and what I want to do is to pass because in this component we actually have products we are passing products from the old products um, live wire class and so these products are the ones that I want us to count in our in our product count live wire class so what I'm going to do I'm going to have full colon and pass that product there so in this case we can have products then you have is equals to and then we pass that product property products like that once i have done that i can go ahead and receive these products in our component so in this case i'm going to go to the live wire class and open product count and since we are passing a prop that is called uh, products i'm going to just declare public um, products like that. Of course, I can also receive this in the mount function, but it's not necessary. We can be able to just receive it like this. And then now inside our um, view, so as we render our view, that is the product count. I also want us to pass the count of the product. So in this case, I'm going to pass count. And then we are going to just set it as this hyphen, I mean, uh, arrow product, and then count like that. So it you count the number of our products. And I think that is um, good enough. I want to 
go back to the specific live wire class so the one that has product count so product count is here i want to remove this heading because even if we have it right now let me just save and we try to refresh and see what it's going to display because there we are having a title that says this is my awesome com component so let us see if it's going to work and we are having product not found i have i referred to it as product or products so let me just go back live wire product count it's supposed to be products plural like that because that is what we have passed so let me refresh again because i wanted to show you something so you can see this is my awesome title is actually the component that we have uh, the product count component when you check the blade file you can see that what we have here is this is my awesome title so that is what i wanted to remove and i want to just have a paragraph tag and close it like that and uh, we can just have total uh, products and i'm going to have a semicolon and then we are just going to pass in the count so like that count after that i want us to refresh and see if we are able to pass in the count now you can see that the products that you have created are 20. but in this case if we create a new product let me just create a new product here i'm going to call it product uh, 40 just to have a different name and some description and a price when we click save changes the product is saved but um, if we check the count is still 20. when we refresh that is when now it's updated to 21. so for us to be able to cure this we can be able to make our property reactive so let us go ahead and do that so i will go back to our live wire class product count and above here i want to import the reactive attribute so use livewire um, attributes and then reactive and then before above the product we can be able to just declare uh, hash reactive i think it should be immediately so let us see yes not there just there i think is a place so we can have it uh, reactive like that so once we have this attribute i want us to try it again and see what is going to happen so i'm going to refresh again and then i'm going to create a new product so this one i'm going to call product 43 43 for no reason actually so some uh, description and then a price just some text then i will click save after a while of course our model you dis will disappear and now you can see it has updated to 22. so basically that is how you can be able to pass the properties from parent to child and also make those properties reactive thank you very much for following this tutorial episode up until this point if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel you can be able also to share this video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i also welcome you to if you have any question you can be able to share in the comments thank you